All right, guys, finally, we found a collection and we took it home. All right, guys, we're creeping closer to 15,000 subscribers and here are the giveaway items. All you need to do to enter to win is be a subscriber to the channel, hit the thumbs up on this video and leave a comment on this video. Stick around to the end and we're gonna get into more details on the items and how you can win. Okay, guys, we are gonna get into the car. We are gonna go look at this. This was three hours away. But please, if you could hit that subscription button along with that notification bell. If you enjoy this video, hit that thumbs up. So a little backstory here, uh, I got a message, I believe it was an email or through the website, I don't even remember. Uh, regardless, this guy hit me up, said, look, I sell die cast cars, I also have comics, I kinda wanna get rid of the comics and focus on the business, which is the die cast cars. He does exactly what I do, except with the cars and happened to amass a big comic collection. It was his personal collection, big reader, a um, lot of fun stuff. I said, okay, we set it all up, and I headed out. This took two SUVs. There's a whole lot of stuff, but we're in the car. We're heading south. All right, guys. I've got almost a four-hour drive ahead of me. Heading, heading south. Uh, I was told there's about 50 short boxes, modern with some major keys, slab stuff. I don't know. Worth the trip? We'll see. Four hours heading out. All right, guys, we just fast forwarded three hours. It's now 11 o'clock, and we are just minutes away from taking a look at this collection. All right, guys, so here we are. Whole bunch of stuff. If you look to the left, you can see a bunch of die cast stuff, but look at all these boxes to go through. We're only going to go through a few on camera. Look at the nice ASM. We'll go through all that. Some Muppets. <laughs> And here we go into the box. We're starting right out with Hulk. You saw that Hulk number one. That's that first Red Hulk. This entire collection, probably like 99.9% .9 of this collection was bagged and boarded. And I would probably say somewhere around 60 to 75% was organized just like you're looking at here, which is always a perk. You almost want to pay a little bit of a premium for something like that because it takes a lot of work off of you. So some Hulks, and now we're going to go into some Infinity Gauntlet. A lot of miniseries in here. A lot of stuff. Um, and we will go over the price in a little bit towards the end as I go through some other books that you're not going to see here. This is that Iron Man run with, I believe, Rescue. Let me see here. I believe, yep, there it is. That's the first Rescue. That's that variant. Some more of this. A lot of Iron Man. See how it's all organized? Bagged, boarded, organized, alphanumerical. You gotta love it. Into some kick-ass. Into some more Marvel stuff. Mostly Marvel, too. This entire collection, I would probably say like 75% Marvel. It's a goofy book. <laughs> Some more Marvel. And then, you know, after this box, all I'm going to do is go over some of these keys right from, oh, some Marvel Zombies, all the Marvel Zombies, which is nice. Again, some nice mini series. But after this, we'll just quickly go through some of the keys still in the basement. And then we'll go over them back at home, some other ones. So here we go. Some Saga number one, Rachel Rising. There's your first Riri Williams. Look at this, Marvel, oh, for She-Hulk, Zoom, Power Girl, some nice stuff. These were some military-issued books, I believe, something like that. These are just some high-ratio variants. Yeah, this one as well, for Silk. Remember this book for later. This is that 911? This was a beater, definitely a reader copy. Here's Marvel Spotlight 2, it's first Werewolf by Night, first Nightwing, oh, and some Thor, God of Thunder. Look at that, two of the big ones right there. Return of Thanos here. Oh, yeah, nice stuff. A eh, little New Mutants. Not crazy, crazy big here, but we're going to get into some slabs now. 
Marvel Zombies, Infinity Gauntlet, Miss Marvel. That's a 9.6. Nice grade on that. First Lady Deadpool, 9.8 on that. Some J. Scott Campbell Spideys, 9.4, 9.4. Anti Venom, that's that variant. Jessica Jones, Red Hood. None of these modern books were cleaned or pressed. So you see a lot of 9.2s, 9.4s, even some 9.6s, except that. That's a 9.8. Might be worth sending out. All right, guys. So you saw what came home, a whole bunch of stuff. I didn't want to just dig through boxes and record and record and record, but you saw the the majority of the good stuff, but I still have some more to show you. Uh, again, these guys, well, it was one guy, but two guys are into this business. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it on the screen right here because they were absolutely awesome to talk with and to do business with. We will go over the price as well, but they, this was Egon's Emporium Car comics and collectibles they are on facebook they have an ebay store and they uh are also have an email website egonsemporium.com definitely look into that if you guys are into any type of die cast all different scale they had a lot of stuff i should have recorded their inventory because it was wild just totes and totes of cars and kits and all types of fun stuff but that's not what this video is about this video is about comics so what else came home with me well let's give you some numbers first so overall there was 57 short boxes and nine long boxes of stuff some of them were a little loose they weren't packed tight but still roughly 57 shorts nine long boxes after i was able to break everything down i walked away with Four short boxes of miniseries. Miniseries like House of M, uh, Kingdom Come, uh, Secret Invasion, Secret Wars, stuff like that. Just miniseries. That was four short boxes of that. Also walked away with seven short boxes. Sorry, I have to read all this because there's a lot here. Seven short boxes of $5 and up books. Just minor keys, cool covers, just $5 plus books, about seven short boxes of that. Then you go down another step. Walked away with 18 short boxes and two long boxes of $2 books. When I say $2, I mean like $2 filler, like X-Men, Amazing Spider-Man, major titles, Avengers, Captain America, Deadpool, all that kind of stuff. 18 shorts and two longs. And we go down even further. Now we go down to the bulk filler, the stuff I bulk out super cheap, just at a discount to people I know that, that buy bulk. 22 short boxes and nine long boxes. So total, that's what goes out for bulk. Um, and there was some fun stuff in there. He had a lot of full runs, like God of Thunder, Thor God of Thunder. We know how popular and how how valuable that run is right now. Young Avengers, that's another one that's got a lot of steam behind it. So there was some good stuff in there. But that was the breakdown. Now, let me talk about a few books here that came out of that collection that you didn't see when I was thumbing through the slabs and some of the better books that he had. First up, Hawkeye vs. Deadpool Zero. There's a, you know, some people like this book, some people don't. Allegedly, it's the first cameo of Spider Gwen and Jane Foster as Thor, but they're in costume. It's trick or treaters. It's not that big of a deal, but I thought it was worth mentioning. What was also in there was Thor number one. First Jane Foster as Thor on the cover. This is, you know, you always want to follow the market. So the market dictates right now that What If 10 is really expensive. That's a big time book. That's the one worth a lot of money. But this book as well, you know, in a 9.8, it's about a $200 book. So I w thought it was worth pulling out and mentioning. Invincible Iron Man number 10. This is that variant. This thing was super hot. When Avengers Endgame came out, this is the first appearance of Rescue. Now it's probably like $25, $30 book, maybe. Again, worth mentioning. Next up is one of my absolute favorite modern books, one of the most undervalued books in my opinion, and I say this all the time. This is Green Lantern 25. Not only is it part of an incredible story, I enjoy the cover. There's also a one in 10. This is the standard regular cover. This is the first Atrocitus, the first Larflees, the first Emotional Spectrum. This storyline is great. This is right before the Green Lantern Blackest Night run. This is a Sinestro War. Awesome arc. Jeff Johns absolutely killed it. I actually like this arc more than the Blackest Night, but 
That's just opinions. Next up, Green Lantern 20, first appearance of Jessica Cruz. Yeah, it's a cameo, but again, the market dictates, and right now the market is dictating this is not only the first appearance, but this is the most expensive out of all the Jessica Cruz cameos and first appearances, however many there are. There's some Justice League ones that were also in here, but this is the one I wanted to mention. Action Comics 894, first cover appearance of Death. Not necessarily Death's first appearance in DC continuity, but it is a cool cover. And this one got hot for a quick minute too. High grade, eh, maybe we'll send it out to get slabbed. There's a few on here, you'll see. And some of the raw stuff you saw earlier in the video. Another big book, gonna go up in value right now. I'm sure you know why. Captain America number six. This is the first Winter Soldier. Is that Brewbreaker run. I mean, great cover. There's also a variant too with the Winter Soldier on it, but this is... This is a nice book. I found this a whole bunch of times. This is a great book. Invincible Iron Man number nine. First full Riri Williams. A lot of value behind this. A lot of heat behind this. Riri's got a lot going for her. If you paid attention during the part where I was flipping through the raw stuff, you noticed that the first cameo Riri, the big money book was in there. Here's the next one in line. Amazing Spider-Man number four. This is actually the second one from the collection. I believe the first one was flipped through earlier as well. This is the first appearance of Silk. Lost a little bit of steam, but don't be surprised if this thing gets hot again down the line, especially with all the Spider-Man news coming, whether it's the animated Sony one or whether it's the MCU one. Darth Maul number two, first Cad Bane. This book is hot right now. He had that whole first Darth Maul run. There's a few keys in there, great covers, but this was the one worth mentioning. Keep an eye out for this book. This is also going, probably going to CGC. A lot of these on this list are gonna go out to CGC and we'll have an unboxing later. We're gonna keep going here. There was a lot in there. Darth Vader number three, first appearance of Dr. Aphra. One of the hottest Star Wars books out there right now. This thing just keeps getting hotter and hotter and hotter. Is she coming? Is she not? I don't know. Regardless, this was in here and this is not the variant. The variant fetches a pretty penny right now too, especially in a 9.8. Ultimate Fallout number four. First appearance of Miles Morales. So as we were discussing and I was going over and pricing out all the keys and everything, and again, we are going to talk about value at the end. Uh, he kept the this aside with some of the other stuff we're about to talk about. Um, and that's why it wasn't in the video earlier. So he did have this Ultimate Fallout 4 pulled aside as well as this one. Two Ultimate Fallout number fours, both came home, both great books. Again, first Miles Morales, the sky's the limit with this book right now. I thought it had peaked and then it went up twice as much as I had thought we were done. I don't know what to think about this book anymore. Now the next book is the first time I have ever found this in the wild. And not only that, uh, CGC, 7.0. This is Iron Man number one. First time ever finding this. I was really excited. I love this cover. It's the first solo title, Iron Man, you know, all by himself. It, is there really any major, major significance to this book? Not really. I do love the cover. I just, I, it's first time me finding it. I was super excited about it. And last but not least, Amazing Spider-Man 129, first appearance of the Punisher, uh, 5.0. Already slabbed, already cleaned, already pressed, all the work's done. So that came with this collection as well. So that was basically all the big stuff. I want to make sure I had to write a lot of stuff down here, but uh, that was it for this collection. A lot of nice stuff. This, as, as much, how should I word this? As great as all those keys were, I was actually disappointed when I went back through there and dug through all those boxes. I was kind of disappointed I didn't find some more because, you know, you, you, I went through the boxes really quick there. My cousin and I went through really quick. It was a lot to go through. Um, I, I don't think I overpaid for the collection at all, but I kind of was hoping to find a little bit more. Uh, and, and the pay, what I ended up paying for this collection was $5,100. It actually came to $5,400 and I was... Um, he was putting together an X-Men run, so I had some X-Men books for him that knocked about 300 bucks off. So that was it, $5,100 for this collection. Some slab, you saw a lot of slabs, a lot of nice stuff, a lot of raw stuff, but a lot of bulk, a lot of quantity. And again, this is Egon's Emporium on eBay, Facebook. They have that website, egonsemporium.com. If you're into anything die cast, definitely reach out to these guys because they're super nice and super easy to deal with as well. Or if you have collections you're looking to sell in diecast, these are the guys to hit up. 
that's it for this collection, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been a while since we've got a collection, so I was really excited to come across this. And uh, I know it sounds silly, but that Iron Man one, I was really excited because, again, I've never found one in the wild. You know what's another one I've never found in the wild? Iron Man 55, first Thanos, someday. That's it for me. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Again, down below, let me know how you think I did. Hit the thumbs up on the way out as well. It doesn't cost you anything. It's quick. It's easy. It helps me. helps you. I don't know if it helps you, but it helps me. Thanks a lot, guys. And remember, keep it comics. All right, guys, with 15,000 subscribers right around the corner, this is your chance to win these four great prizes. First up, the Days of Future Past set. This is X-Men 141 and 142. Second, sticking with Marvel, we have a CGC 9.8 Spider-Man Unlimited number one. This is the first appearance of Shriek. Move over to some DC. How about Batman number one from the New 52, along with Teen Titans 12, first appearance of the Batman Who Laughs. Last but not least, this is Three Jokers, book two, the 1 in 25 variant in a 9.8. Now, in order to win these prizes, you need to be subscribed to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment. After we hit 15,000 subscribers, next live show after, I will pick a random video and randomize the comments. The more videos you watch, comments you leave, gives you more opportunity to win one of these awesome prizes.